of my mottos as an entrepreneur is, if it was easy, everyone would do it. I find myself saying that a lot on tough days running my business. You know, why is this so hard? Right, because everyone would love to run a company and everyone would love to raise $2 million for their company. This is not easy. But you've already started a company, you're an entrepreneur, you've already done so many things that are not easy. Julia Pimsler is on a mission to help one million women entrepreneurs break the $1 million in revenues mark by 2020. As the CEO and founder of Little Pim, one of the few women-run businesses backed by venture capital in the country, Julia understands the ups and downs of entrepreneurship and fundraising. She is helping more women get access to capital and grow their businesses through her speaking, teaching, and her leadership role with the Entrepreneurs' Organization and her book, Million Dollar Women, the essential guide for female entrepreneurs who want to go big. Has anyone been to Paris? Do you know Eiffel Tower and, and Notre Dame? All right. So the Notre Dame meant a lot to me because I, the seven years I lived in Paris, I rode a bicycle everywhere, and I used to ride in front of Notre Dame a lot. And it was so gorgeous. And at one point, it dawned on me when I was getting ready to raise venture capital that no one ever walks away from Notre Dame saying, what a gorgeous cathedral. It's really too bad that she needs all those flying buttresses to hold her up. It turns out there are 28 flying buttresses holding up Notre Dame. If you go around the back, 28 flying buttresses. And suddenly I thought, I don't have to be the Eiffel Tower. I don't have to be this big steely solo structure. I can be me and I can find my flying buttresses. And that is how I will be successful. The greatest indicator of success in business is not the size of the business or the industry it's in or how long they've been selling. It's one thing. It is the leader's ability to set goals and drive towards them. And that is true in fundraising also. If you set a goal and you have a really clear plan for getting there, you will be successful. Julia and her business have been featured in national media like Today, NBC Weekend, Fox News, Business Week, The Wall Street Journal, and The New York Times. Women experience an ally and mentor in Julia, one who has traveled the entrepreneurial road and helped clear hurdles for other women. Julia Pimsler is a new, relatable, and empowering voice for female entrepreneurs who want to go big. We are our best ally and we are our worst enemy. A lot of what your fundraising depends on is your ability to project confidence, to answer questions in a way that reassures investors. So if you have doubts about your business or your potential, and, and who doesn't, really? I had a lot of things I was concerned about when I was out raising money. But I realized that those fears were not helping me. And they were just, you know, that, that negative self-talk, that voice that comes up when you don't know the answer to something or you're not positive what you're saying will actually come true. That's okay. You don't need to know everything when you're out fundraising. But I do suggest that you take all those fears and put them into mini storage. That's what I did. I just had that visual of like, I'm taking out a mini storage, I'm putting all those fears in there. I can't wipe them out with a magic wand, but they're not gonna serve me during this fundraise. So if you have something you really wanna do, and it could be starting a business, but it could be taking a trip around the world. It could be proposing to this amazing man or woman. It could be anything that you're not quite sure you can make it happen. I would encourage you to question if you have limiting beliefs holding you back. Put those in mini storage, somewhere under a really great steel door, and then go outside your comfort zone and find your flying buttresses because they will help you get there. Because it's not just for entrepreneurs. The most successful people in life are the ones who fail and get up and keep going. And many of you already know how to do that. That's why you're here. And if you don't already know how to do it, it can be learned. Thank you so much for having me.